Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at proportions in similar triangles. So we have in triangle ABC, D is a midpoint on AB and E is a midpoint on BC such that DE is parallel to AC. If DB equals 3, AD equals 2, and AC equals 15, find the length of DE. So for a problem like this, right away, all this information is confusing if we don't have a picture of what this looks like. So our first order of business is to draw a triangle ABC. So we start off, we have triangle ABC, and now we just read through the problem again. We have D as a point on AB, so we go to line segment AB and we can draw in point D, and we have that E as a point on BC. But now these points need to be drawn in such a way that when we connect DE, DE needs to be parallel to AC. So we can see that these lines are parallel and if we want to draw in our symbols to indicate that DE and AC are parallel. But now we fill in the given information, we have that DB is equal to 3, AD is equal to 2, and we have that AC is equal to 15. And now if the goal is to find the length of DE, we could call that side X. But now we need to think about all the given information that was you know, available for us. If we're told that DE and AC are parallel, this is usually going to indicate that we're going to have congruent angles. So we could say right away that angle A and angle BDE are congruent because they're corresponding. Likewise, a similar argument tells you that angle C and angle DEB are also congruent. So this tells us that we have two similar triangles. We have triangle DBE is similar to triangle ABC. And if we wanted to justify this, we could say by angle-angle similarity. We're not going to write a formal proof, we just want to solve this problem. But the strategy is, since we have these two similar triangles, we want to draw them separately. So we start off, we have triangle, we have triangle DBE and we can fill in the sides that we know. We know that DB is 3, DE is X, and now the big triangle, ABC, we know that side AC is 15, but now let's just do all the work right here. AB, we can find the length of AB by adding up these two smaller segments. We have 2 plus 3 is 5, so the length of AB is equal to 5. But now that we have these triangles lined up, we could set up a proportion and find the value of the missing side. And now the strategy for this, we could set up many different ratios as long as we're consistent. And what we mean by this is that let's say we set up the ratio 3 over x. We're comparing the side on the left and the bottom. So we're comparing the left side to the bottom or the base. So when we set up the ratio in this triangle, we need to compare the side on the left to the bottom. So we're setting up 5 over 15. So just once again, we're comparing the left to the bottom. So 3 over x equals 5 over 15. Now at this step, all we need to do is cross multiply. So we have 5 times x is 5x equals, and we're multiplying 3 times 15, which is 45. So now to solve for x, we just divide both sides by 5. And we can find that x equals 9. So if we want to answer this problem formally, we know that these two sides equal 9, but we'll just write it out. The length of DE will say that DE is equal to 9. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on proportions and similar triangles. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.